Hey guys, welcome to a video, a new video, the video. We are on our third order of the night. We got the first two dropped off. One was to a local Mexican restaurant, and then we just got a uh, wing place delivered. And that order went up to twelve fifty. I think I said that was a really good order. Um, and we got that one done, and then we just got a McDonald's order, which is our third order, and it is going not too far. So we're gonna get this one delivered, and then I just need one more to reach my goal for the day. Uh, I may turn spark on. I don't know. It's 7.45, so I guess it depends on how long it takes for us to get our next DoorDash. Finished up our DoorDash orders. It got to 107 exactly and 7 fall off tonight, so we should be at 100 tomorrow. I got a Walmart spark order. It is a two-drop order, and it's, I think, $24, something like that. So we're fixing to get loaded up. We're just pulling into Walmart now. All right, well, we got the orders dropped off. Um, second one was she had me place it right at her door and I handed her a few of the things so I uh, didn't film that one but I just took a picture of me handing her some stuff you know because you got to get that photo anyway got it done and then I got this order I got I saw the $33 and I got excited because I was like oh that's an easy two drops you know for $33 and it's a double shopping order it's still good for $33 I mean if you total the items together, I think it was like one was six and one was 13. So it's only 19 items. So I would I would take a 19 item shop for $33 anyway, but I've never done a shop for two different customers. So I'm not sure how it works. Obviously we'll figure it out as we go, but I'm a little frustrated that it's a shop and not a drop off, but it's okay. We'll get it done. So we're heading to Walmart to go get a shop tour. So the previous clip you saw was me saying that I accidentally took a two shop order. And I went ahead and went through with it, even though I knew I probably shouldn't have. But anyway, we get there, we shop for, you. it's weird, you shop for both orders at the same time. They're labeled like customer A, customer B. That way you can, you know, once you shop for something that tells you which customer it's for, you separate them. We had a little, you know, just the little hand basket thingy for the smaller order. Um, and then we had the regular cart for the bigger order. And most of the items, when we first got there were for the smaller item uh, order and there was only six items. There was two coloring books, there was um, some Sharpies, uh, some kids crayons, and I always say crowns and I know that's not how you say it by the way, but that's how I've said it my whole life. Justin makes fun of me because he says crayon, which is the correct way I'm sure, but anyway, that's besides the point. Some kind of like stomach medicine. So. We shot for everything and we're down to the Sharpie markers and, oh, there was also a um, case for a tablet. Anyway, get to the Sharpie markers. They're nowhere to be found. Um, so I mark unavailable, I scan a substitution and I go on to the next item, which is the tablet case. She wanted a purple one. All they had left was blue. They were on clearance and um, she didn't want a substituted one. So unfortunately they didn't have the purple, so it refunded that one and uh, she rejected the marker, the Sharpie marker substitution. So anyway, it was done with her order. It took us forever, because like I said, we looked for those markers forever, couldn't find them. Finished it up, went on to the big order, got that one done without really any issues. I think there was one substitution, uh, the toilet paper, everything else we found. We go to checkout and it says, it didn't tell me that the lady canceled her order. It just said, remove item from cart. And I assumed it was the, sh the markers because she rejected those, which I had already removed those. So anyway, I go to the self-checkout, bag up the bigger order stuff because that's what it told me to do. And then it said to leave the store. And I was like, what the hell? I haven't even bagged up the other lady's order. Anyway, I guess she canceled and it didn't specifically tell me that it was canceled until I left the store. And so I had to go back in, take her stuff in. I gave it to an associate. Told her what happened she said she would take care of it and then left and the order dropped to i believe 25 dollars, which is still good for 13 item shop um which is what the one order that we did get done was uh they didn't have their porch light on or anything so there was nothing to film needless to say it was a very frustrating order i will never do another double shop order again unless it's like one item each for a good amount of money because that was very frustrating spent most of our time shopping for the small order just for her to cancel um which I mean, I understand, you know, if, if they didn't have a couple of the items you wanted and you just want to cancel your order, I get it. But it just added to the frustration of things that were going on. So it is 
Tuesday, we got our second order of the night. They both went to the same restaurant, both orders. Uh, the first time I went, it was ready when I got there and got it dropped off. Uh, there was a new employee in there. I guess he didn't know what DoorDash was and he was trying to make me pay for the order. And I was like, it's not for me. Like, it's a delivery. They ordered it, paid for it already. He wasn't getting it. So, uh, another guy came over and he's like, are you DoorDash? I was like, yeah. And he's like, here. <laughs> he gave it to me. Um, anyway, went in there just now to pick up this order and it was like 20 minute wait. Taco Bell and McDonald's orders dropped off. Uh, they were both ready when I got there. So very quick, easy orders tonight, except for the second one. Um, but we're only going to get four tonight because like I said, I'm trying to just keep a good order count and not get too many, not go too low. Um, and only one order falls off tonight. I thought it was two, but it's only one. So I'm at 104. I'll be at 103 tomorrow, which will keep us ahead a little bit here and there. Alrighty, Rue, it's Wednesday. We got our first order from Taco Bell picked up and dropped off. Of course, they were at a Baja Blast, so I had to call the customer. They said Pepsi would be fine, so we got it done. And now we're at McDonald's for just a kid's meal. So I'm going to go and grab it. Turn Spark on uh, because I only need, I think, four orders fall off tonight, and I think I'm at... 105 or 106 so I'm already good um I'll try to get another one or two orders on there but I also wanted to turn spark on to see if there was anything good and they sent me like three offers um one was a curbside for two orders for 15 bucks it wasn't great but there was only I think six items in one order and maybe maybe six or seven in the other one too both really small orders um but I decided not to take that one and I got a shopping order which is this one that we took for I believe like 25 bucks plus there's a three dollar shopping incentive from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. it is 7:20, so we should get an extra three bucks on this one um and it's only three items well three different items um there's like 16 of one candle and I don't know if they're gonna have them or not we will definitely see I know we've gotten 12 for this lady before and they had them but 16 is quite a bit you know uh, and then she got some cilantro and some type of meat and that's it. So should be a easy $25 as long as they have all the candles. Well guys, we got the order shopped for and they didn't have 16 of the same exact candles she wanted. They're like the prayer candles, but she wanted just the clear glass, nothing on it. They didn't have that, but they had them with like designs on the glass. So I substituted 16 of those. Um, and then she wanted cilantro and some kind of thin steak meat. I don't know. Uh, so we found the steak meat and the cilantro, they were out. I asked two different associates. They said they didn't have any. So I had to message her and let them know they didn't have any. It was really weird because whenever, you know when you go to uh, bag up the items, sometimes it'll say good to go. Sometimes it'll say an associate needs to check your cart or whatever. Well, I got the associate needs to check your cart and she came over there and she scanned the candle and then she scanned the meat and then she scanned the candle again and she acted like she was kind of confused but she was just like I think you're good to go and I was like okay so then after she finished that on her phone or tablet whatever they whatever you call that thing that they use uh it popped up on my phone saying we noticed you have a different item in your cart and it was like telling me to remove the different item but there was nothing all we got was 16 candles and some meat. So I don't know what that was about. I don't know if the substitution glitch maybe, and it was like saying that wasn't something I was supposed to shop for. I don't know. But anyway, I checked the receipt and everything, and it shows I've scanned 16 candles and the meat. So there, I mean, I don't know what else it could have been. But we got out of there, and we are on our way to the drop-off. We just got another shopping order finished. It started out at $11, um, and it was only five items, so it was a very easy order anyway. But I kept declining it because I figured it would go up. And even if I missed out on it, I wasn't going to be that sad about it. Um, so it went up to $19. And like I said, there's a $3 shop incentive. So 22 bucks to go shop for five items was really good. And it was all in the same section except for the milk. So pretty easy. Uh, and now we're on our way to drop it off. I'm going to turn Spark off after this and try to get one or two more DoorDashes. Uh, I don't need them, but I'd like to get, you know one or two more all right guys we got one last doordash order to end the video it was i think only like four dollars so it wasn't great but it added another one to the count you know and we got it done pretty quickly and that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching this video we hope you all enjoyed it and we will see y'all in the next one